Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with a review of the Mystery Science Theater 3000 Funko Pop of Crow. That figure stands really good on its own. Like, it's got big feet. And it looks like it doesn't need a figure stand, but it comes with one. So there you go. Crow T Robot is an interesting character to adapt into pop form. I think both the robots, the main robots from MST3K, are uh, present a bit of a challenge. Um, so much so they don't totally read like pops, they just read like the characters. Um, like if you look at his body here, it isn't that big of a difference from his head size compared to a lot of other pops where the head is bigger. But who cares? It's, it's a crow toy, and it's a pop, so... I love it. Um, the details of his body, they did a pretty good job with as far as adapting all that. That's not an easy thing to do, but his dimensions, his little chest section, the little uh, black sections of his arms there, even this, like the sculpt of those little rivets on the, on the joints there uh, look really good. The positioning of his hands look, look pretty good, but the little sculpted things on those little rings on, on his midsection there, uh, the black paint at the, uh, the bottom of like his waist is pretty good. I saw somewhere the black paint was a little smeared, so be on the lookout for that. But yeah, the black and gold going all along his legs looks pretty good, but the sculpt of his feet, this is a pretty impressive sculpt, I gotta say. And as a fan of, of Mr. Science Theater 3000, uh, I appreciate them getting this right. His head looks great too. The little basket on the back of his head, it's well done. I like uh, the fact that they someone took the time to sculpt this entire thing. Um, and they didn't cheat by making it kind of just like a, a solid thing with just like some thinner plastic in between. Like there are full blown gaps in there, so that's nice. Um, and then the shape of his head in the front, his beak looks really well done. Um, I don't always like when Pop's eyes are brought close together, like uh, uh, on like Maurice from uh, War for the Planet of the Apes, and there are a few others. If you bring the eyes too close together, they don't read like Pop's to me anymore. The exception for me is Crow, because his eyes are that close together inside the puppet. I like the yellow bumps. I like the square in the middle there. It's a nice touch. I saw some that had really kind of smeared paint jobs in the eyeballs. So if you care about that, be on the lookout for that. There was some where the yellow paint bled outside of the uh, sort of eye, the black visory area. But I love the sculpt of his head. It totally reads like him. I can't believe we live in a world where we have MST3K Pops. As a huge, long-time fan of the series, having this pop delights me to no end. I love it. Thanks for watching, everybody. And if you want, follow me on Instagram and Facebook and all that stuff, or don't.